On the morning of November 1, 1755, All Saints' Day, the city of Lisbon, Portugal was alive with church bells, prayers, and crowded streets. Without warning, the ground began to shake violently. In moments, one of the most powerful earthquakes in European history changed the fate of Portugal forever. The Great Lisbon Earthquake struck around 9.40 a.m. and is estimated to have had a magnitude between 8.5 and 9.0. Buildings collapsed instantly, including grand churches filled with worshippers, stone walls crumbled, streets split open, and thousands were trapped beneath the rubble. Panic spread as survivors ran toward open spaces and the nearby harbor believing the worst had passed, but the disaster was far from over. Less than an hour later, the sea suddenly withdrew from the Tagus River, exposing the riverbed. Curious crowds gathered, unaware of what was coming next. A massive tsunami surged back into the harbor, with waves reaching up to six meters high. Ships were smashed against the shore, docks were destroyed, and people who had fled the earthquake were swept away by the water, as if the earthquake and tsunami were not enough. Fires broke out across the city. Candles from church services and overturned cooking fires ignited the ruins. Strong winds turned small fires into a raging inferno that burned for days. Lisbon became a sea of flames, destroying what the earthquake had spared. By the time the destruction ended an estimated 60,000 people were dead, nearly 85% of Lisbon was destroyed, including royal palaces, libraries, and priceless works of art. The disaster was felt far beyond Portugal, with tremors reported across Europe and North Africa. The Great Lisbon Earthquake had consequences far beyond physical destruction. It deeply shook Europe's philosophical and religious thinking. Many questioned how such devastation could occur on a holy day. Enlightenment thinkers like Voltaire used the event to challenge ideas about fate, faith, and divine justice. It became one of the first natural disasters studied scientifically, leading to early advances in seismology. Portugal's response was also historic. Under the leadership of the Marquis of Pombal, Lisbon was rebuilt with modern urban planning and some of the world's earliest earthquake-resistant building designs. The city rose again, stronger and more organized than before. Today, the Great Lisbon Earthquake of 1755 is remembered as one of the deadliest and most influential natural disasters in history. It reshaped a nation, changed how the world understood earthquakes, and left a lasting mark on human thought itself.